Mm-hmm. All right. I am Jason. I am the wizard. And I am here with my good friend and colleague, Candice Raboyo. And Candice is a medium and she's a psychic channel. And Candice, what else are you in the world? Oh, I'm a walking in your shoes facilitator um, to help with somatic inquiry and therapy. I read cards as well. I am a human being walking this earth and planet at this time. <laughs> so many different things. <laughs> How's that going? That, that uh, human being walking on the planet so far? <laughs> you know, the human experience. We're all in it right now. It's interesting times, is it not? It's like being a human right now. It's it's a little bit um, awe-inspiring, it's a little bit hectic, chaotic, but I think, um, essentially, I think it's the breakthrough in human consciousness. I do, I do think something's, something special is seeping through. <laughs> if, yeah, you're I, tuned to, if you're tuned to it. Have you been able to, to pinpoint, like, any aspect of, you know, what the, the silver lining is? Yeah, I feel like, um, energetically, I've tapped into a lot of silver linings. One is a deep sense of love for humanity um it's like a new level of consciousness and opening in the chest that i've felt and i actually did a a walk you know i do walking in your shoes somatic therapy i had a friend walk the message of the virus and it was actually all about expansive love for humanity and basically wanting to be wanting to build community in a way wanting to build more community and that resonated and struck a chord so much for me. Um, and of course, you know, as a healer too, and doing the work that we do, we feel more called to do our work now, probably more than ever in our lives. I know that's true for me. I know it's true for a few healer friends of mine. I already have saying the same things. And it's like, you know, we could take this time to bake cookies and not come out the woodworks ever and knit or whatever people do. Not that those things are bad. I love cookies, by the way. I do too. I do too. (laughs) Vote for cookies. Send me cookies. Exactly. I love cookies too. Um, But you know, it's, it's, we shouldn't use this as an excuse to hide from the world. In fact, we need to be more ever present online um, and for our clients. So I definitely feel like one of the big silver linings is to help people push and transition to online platforms in their businesses and i think for corporate america in general i think humanity is starting to realize too you could have been working from home for a long time and the fact that we drive and waste our precious time and energy to and from work and we're sitting in traffic i mean there's so many things in society that are starting to make less and less sense i think and we're starting to shift into something new. Even if everything goes back to normal after this, we're never going to get this period of time. And what we did and how we functioned as a society, it's, it's, I think, a testament to parts of the future. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I agree. That, that, that is beautifully said. You know, I, I feel that anyone who, who proclaims that they're, they're a healer or uh, a light worker, someone who who's, looks to bring light into the world, that this is a moment in time to to mm-hmm. step up and, yeah. and to and to not hide out, you know, because it, it doesn't get any more real than this. And and to uh, you know all those that that may question their role as a as a healer. It was like, I'm not a healer, you know. Don't don't to get me wrong. I'm not a healer, but to be able to express your humanity in ways that. It is. It, it comes from a, a place of of love, of you know, where you do your part to be able to help ease the the, the suffering or the the worry of someone, uh, you know, because there, there's so much uncertainty in in this time that and and people when they don't know what's going to happen if if they're bust out of their routine, it's like they can freak out. It's like, I think we have routines for a purpose and that's to, so our mind doesn't just kind of keep wandering and, you know, it's like, well, right. what then? And then what then? And what then? Because our, our mind, it, it likes to know, it likes to know things. It does. It it likes does. To, and, and we will, we will sacrifice sometimes our own, uh, you know, potential just so we'll be in a place of knowing. 
and 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 this is you know one of those times when there it, it's like a collective unknowing where where there is um it, it's like marinating in this this great sea of unknowing right now and mm -hmm. and that can be intense it can definitely be intense but i must say the unknowing is where like ooh, that's like it's the juicy stuff to me because that is where the new things and the insights spring about so because we are locked inside we need to go internal into our spirit and see what's been going on this whole unconscious time right because there is some awakening here like you're talking about you know we're bam out of our routine okay now what <laughs> who are we what are we doing with ourselves um, because in that quietness is where the magic happens in that stillness as you know, too, is where the magic happens and where we start to pull resources from. And I think this is the time now when we're probably going to see a lot of online businesses and creative things spring about and people, like I mentioned earlier, transitioning into the online platforms more and more. But I think humanity is going to start becoming more and more innovative and creative and understanding that our, our skills and our assets and our dreams are something that we can monetize and that we can share with the world and people do want it. People do want it. I find that one part of this, of this work of, of healing and, and being an energy worker is that sometimes it's, we have to experience how energy and, and spirituality don't have the, the, the same limits, the same boundaries as uh, you know the the physical uh, properties in, in the world. The uh, uh, you know we we can send healing from a great distance. We can uh, activate help ac activate someone's uh, spiritual connection to the divine from a distance. You know we don't have to be like right there with with someone. I mean I I'm very fond of you know having the 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 one on one uh, you know, counseling sessions, the tarot sessions, the, the past life regressions, they're, they're wonderful, but, but one can do them from a, a distance too. And, and they can be just as effective because the oh, yeah. one, one's core doesn't change in that. And, and, and when you recognize that a great distance is it's, it's only like kind of a figment of our imagination when, when we're in that realm of spirit, when, because it's, it's like a, an electrical charge that can, you know, uh, pass through, uh, you know, just a, again, great distance, just like instantaneously. Um, it, you know, it's, it's, it's really, uh, that awareness is, is like, it, it helps bring that to the fore at this time because of all the online stuff that we're doing. It's like, being able to, to calm someone, to soothe someone because, um, you know, because of these times and then they're, they're on the other side of the world. It's like, um, it's like a, it's a beautiful uh, awakening within the, the spirit of the, of the healer, of the practitioner, the, the energy worker. I so, I so agree. You couldn't have said it better because I think this whole event also is teaching us how small the world is and how interconnected we all really are. Yeah. And, you know, people like you and me, we've been doing, I can't say all, but some of our work via telephone or Skype or Zoom or IG chat or whatever the numerous forums we can use, we use them. And so we've already known a lot of healers, a lot of um, us card readers and, you know, the realm of healers in Los Angeles is so big. Um, but we've been knowing about these online platforms. And so now I feel like we're being tested in a way like, okay, can you really, can you really take on this, this forum and become ever more present and really serve in a big way, right? Because like I said, it's kind of getting smaller. We're so interconnected now. I think this event has shown us um, just how together we are in this, you know, Spain, Italy, China, the US, Canada, you know, Latin America, like, all of us are here in this together and never has there been a time in social media, I also think, where we've been tuning into one another energetically and seeing what's going on and seeing how people are coping and dealing. So this whole theme of wellness goes 
like it's a big overarching thing for us to to put into perspective right now and it's it's such a special time it's so special it's intriguing it's exciting um yeah it's it's a whole bunch of things <laughs> yeah and, and i think it you know because of the like the aspects of, of fear <laughs> too i think that that's that's a motivator i think you know if if one doesn't get too fearful where where it's a paralysis if if one is in a in a like like what we're we're doing here by locking down is is mostly just you know trying to prevent from you know spreading the the virus right, right. Mm -hmm. and you know that that's like it's like prevention is is like a you know a wonderful road towards health too <laughs> you know not like uh you know being in in uh, like harm's way and then just like okay come on virus come get me you know <laughs> right exactly and, and i've been i've been noticing too how because of the nature of it because it's invisible because it's not something like an earthquake or a fire or a tornado which which has an imminent uh, sense of of uh you know where, where physically you know where you stand with it, right? It's, it's like when it's invisible, it's like it, it can bring about even more paranoia, you know, when you, when you just like go out to the mail, it's like, oh, am I walking through the path of someone who was just here and maybe they sneezed and, <laughs> and all? It's like, <laughs> it's, it's, it can get a little, uh, you know, one, one has to be in a, a centered place, a, a calm place within themselves so that, that they're able to um, to to deal with it in, in a in a way that they they don't like freak out they don't like uh, you know go go overboard. I I completely agree. We have to really watch our state of being at this time because if you think about the psychic weather, there is all kinds of stuff going on. I felt it myself. I felt waves of fear i felt waves of anxiety of frustration of cabin fever like ah that too and and we have to ride the waves as well and we have to learn to internally find that point of balance and peace and then spread that to our loved ones to the people around us so that we're continually creating a domino effect of calm and peace and prosperity and healing throughout our auras so that can be shared with the earth as well, you know, as above, so below. So we need to definitely be conscious of our equilibrium at this time. So definitely meditation. Um, I'm definitely like channeling, pulling cards, um, one or more of those things daily to help me center myself and, and align because I can feel it too. You know, the, the air is thick with a lot of questions and a lot of you know, inquiry about, mm, okay, what's next and what's going to go on and is this going to last longer than expected and okay, numbers are rising and there's all these things, right, being pushed out to us in the media that we do have to take care to really tune in and focus on this truth. Yes, there are things out there to be aware of, but we do need to hone in and focus in on internal truth and balance for sure, for sure. Yeah, are, are you finding that uh, a certain... Uh, diet of of like uh, you know where you're 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 meditating where uh, you're you know watching a, a movie or something uh, reading a book where you're uh, talking to people do you, do you find that there's a uh, kind of a healthy balance for you as far as making sure that you are you're not burning yourself out or Oh, 100%, 100%. So I'm making sure to, like I said, either meditate, pull cards and or channel daily. Um, I'm eating better than I was actually before this happened, by the way, which is also a very good lesson on, on nutrition and how much more time I do need to devote to healthy meal you know, planning. So I'm so grateful for that. Walking my dog. Um, there's not a lot of people out in my neighborhood, which is great for me. I'm walking tater at least 30 minutes to an hour daily. And that feels so good to be able to devote that time to my dog also. Uh -huh. um, simple things, writing in my journal. Um, and then, you know, I, I can't lie and say I don't get my distractions 
in also. I'm definitely Netflix and chilling and scrolling through Instagram and, and keeping up with all that stuff too. So it yeah. is a combination, I think, of, of a few things, a few things. And I think, um, you know, I can't say shut all distractions off and don't watch the news and don't do these things. You know, that's all, it's part of our world. We can't just pretend like it doesn't exist or, or tap into that too. Um, but it's about how, how deep we're going into things and how much time we're devoting to ourselves to unplug because that is important too. Yeah, it's, it's, we're, we're consuming uh, food, we're consuming information. Um, and, you know, as far as like the entertainment parts, do you, do you watch things that totally take your, your mind off of it or do you gravitate towards things that that show like the the hero's journey and, you know like like someone i was talking to it's like they're they're involved or like watching like the lord of the rings and all that and if you think about that that's that's like very heroic the uh right. the, the characters and uh you know where, the, where they're overcoming great odds and you know the rise of all these like superhero movies and, and all that those will show like uh, overcoming great odds and you know there's a place for it there's a place and and i think we can oversaturate ourselves too where we don't just use it as in inspiration as fuel for our, our own journey but but where we just get lost in it and I, I think it's important to to have that that balance so that you know we, we can focus on what our purpose is at this time and, and if our purpose is to uh, again, kind of be be a healer in the world to to bring light to the world. It's like then, damn it, do it. <laughs> you know, it's like this is the time, yes. and it will be more the time later. And uh, I, I think of 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 aspects of you know there there are your your people who are the the first responder types who jump in just like poof, they they're right there right when the the crisis happens and then there will be people who who come in a little bit later they'll maybe they, they put their big toe in and say okay yeah i can be this person and then they'll they'll start to make an appearance and then you'll have like uh, other people who are great like finishers you know who will um you know they they, they didn't like start at the beginning but they they may like be there at the end and right. and so it's it's not about uh you, you know like diminishing yourself it's not about judging yourself and saying you know god i didn't jump in at the beginning there and i'll just look like a fool if i start now it's like the, you know there, there's no judgment in that just no no be, be, no. be a part yeah the, i think the world is calling people out of the, the woodwork and the nooks and crannies in which they hide. And it's like people think that this time is meant for them to be hiding more and it's not. It's almost like where, where the void is in a way is where I see the growth needs to be. So they tell you to go and seclude and hide. You actually need to figure out ways to expand. <laughs> you need to get creative with how you're expanding your energy to reach more people. Um, they're telling you to distance yourself from people love people more you know that sort of thing i'm sorry my neighbors are kind of loud there's a lot of neighbors everywhere so i'm sorry if you can hear that but they're having a good old time next door <laughs> but again so i feel like where the void is and where the sort of negative aspects lie within this quarantine i think that's where we're supposed to pull the gold from you know so instead of hiding you need to be more seen and it's something i'm it's like i'm saying that to myself because i weeks before this happened, I started to make more online videos because I kept hearing my guides tell me, okay, now you need to be more present. Now you need to be more present online. I kept seeing visuals and visions of my guides showing and telling me this. And then this hits and I'm like, oh, okay. Like I understand why I've been feeling the urge and the itch to just really push myself out there. And I have a hard time wanting to come out and wanting to show my face on camera and wanting to share my message because of not wanting to be on camera or seen too much or seen in certain ways, right? To be seen like that is to like label yourself and it almost becomes this scary thing a little bit if you let it like, oh, I'm a healer, right? 
means something to people or my my voice and my words you know hold some weight and you know you get into this like weird headspace but that's just that's fear too you know we have to just move forward with all our baggage put it over our shoulder and say okay whatever it's there but we have to move forward and we have to help each other help each other i think this is about us becoming more um independent as a society independent on one another um so it's weird i also sense that this quarantine is bringing up this this you know i need to i need to go internal and be very much dedicated to self and see what self needs but also then how do i serve how do i serve humanity so there's it, there's a very interesting pool i think to become more dependent on one another as opposed to big corporations and even government because i think more and more we're starting to see it it's us we when it comes down to it we have ourselves and each other and if we're not equipped if we're not loving, if we're not respectful of one another, we are not going to survive. <laughs> Quite plain, <laughs> we are not going to thrive as a society if we can't love each other. It's so simple, you know. It's a very simple thing. Yeah, it, it is a simple thing, right? As far as like the the idea of it, and then putting it into action. That that's the that's task ahead. Difficult. That's where it gets difficult. The, the putting the love into action, we can feel it. But then how do we act on love? Because we all know love is great if you, you know, see it and sense it and send it. But it's, it's also another thing to start to take action in regards to love. And a lot of people have a lot of blocks around taking movement in, in relation to love, romantically, emotionally, towards themselves, self-love. There's so many things around love that, that we could touch on. That could be a whole nother <laughs> radio show. So <laughs> when you're doing when you're doing the walking in your shoes, uh, that that whole exercise with people, does love come up a lot? Yes, and the lack thereof. You know, the lack thereof, the lack of um, feeling love for oneself or or stability. A lot of emotions. Generally, what comes through somatically in walks is there tends to be, you know feelings here in the chest in the core and then sometimes the sacral it generally kind of tends, and sometimes the head too but there's a lot of stuff a lot of feeling um around the chest that'll come through in walks there could be a heaviness a tightness of a chest or an open chest and a wanting to receive chest you know that's that's all heart essentially um communicating so there's definitely it's a very good question thank you for asking um because that comes up in so many walks what is going on here in the chest because this just tends to instantaneously pop up and walks a lot. We are society in need of love and in need of healing through love. So often, I see it often. <laughs> what about the expression of it as far as the, the expression of love? Do, do people lock themselves in as well? Is, is there a need for both? Oh, yeah, definitely. I'll, I'll see, you know, as a walking in your shoes facilitator, I'll see people who don't know how to express love or give whatever is going on here, resource. If it's a negative thing, if it's a negative emotion, it's, it can be hard for them to want to give themselves what they need. So if there's like, say, a tightness here, I feel a tightness in the chest. If, you know, what might your chest need? And, and you know, people, people can say, well, I need, I need a hug, but then the, the body won't necessarily know how to do it. So but that in and of itself can, can be a whole message why your body can't or won't allow you to. For, for people to see and experience that can be just the key to unlocking what can then provide it later. So some of these walks aren't so, you know, rainbows and butterflies and you're going to find all the solutions that you need instantaneously and you will learn to love. <laughs> but um, over time, sometimes you're, you're going to walk away from a walk like, wow, I don't know how to receive love or opening here feels really scary i've had walks like that where this felt open and i was just like oh my god this feels scary i feel like i'm gonna fall in there like it was a black hole i think i even said that in my walk like it's a black hole right here and it just becomes so scary to open and show people and to invite people in you know some of us have social anxieties some of us have anxieties with being our most authentic selves in front of those people we love and it can be a scary thing to be our most true selves for um, ourselves, but it does serve those around us too. So, 
you know, that, that whole thing comes up in walks too, you know, how you see the world, how the world sees you type thing. And if you, you are having some issues here in the chest, that's, it's going to start to make itself clearer and clearer. Wow. That, I mean, that, that form of work is, it sounds amazing, you know, to be able to facilitate that and, you know, that, that opening, that releasing uh, so that someone can be in their, their full authentic power. You know, that, that's really beautiful. It is. It's um, some, in addition to, you know, the channeling and the psychic work I do, the walking in your shoes, I always tell people it's like the homework because oftentimes what will come through in a session can be so many great tidbits of information and people are like, oh yeah, wow, that resonates and a loved one might come through and it's, and it can be an amazing and awe-inspiring um, session, but I do find my guides will give homework a lot of times. Like if you want this to expand or to heal this, you can do that. And the walking in your shoes is doing the homework. So one of my favorite things to do with my clients is to do um, a session, but within a session do, you know, part psychic work and mediumship and the other part walking in your shoes because it just ties it all together because then we're doing the session and then we're bringing it to the body, right? We're bringing it to the body so the body can have the experience of whatever topic, themes, archetypes came up for that person that need to be addressed. So I love those two in tandem together. It's flawless. <laughs> where where uh, can people get a hold of you, Candace? Um, my, website Boyo. Construction. my website's under construction, but the best place to reach me is my Instagram. You can find me on Instagram at Candice Reboyo. That's Candice. So my, my first name ends with D-I-C-E, and my last name is Reboyo, R-E-B-O-L-L-O. And you can find me... Um, with that same name on Facebook as well. Those places are the best place to reach me. Um, you can message me on either. You can DM me or you can Facebook message me. And I respond relatively quickly unless, you know, I have clients. And it's, it's typically right now the easiest way to get a hold of me. That's, that's fantastic. Do you uh, do any of the, uh, like, I don't know that you can do the full session of a walking in your shoes online, but are there exercises or aspects you can i i actually do what people even over the phone not on screen obviously that would be for people who are a little more advanced but we i could lead you at a walking in your shoes um walk right now jason if you had an open space I'm not saying to do it but you you know what i mean if you had a space all you need is to hold the phone um, and um, or place it somewhere and as long as i can hear you i can facilitate you in a walk. We've done it numerous times. Um, my mentor and the co-founder, Joseph Culp, he is leading full training modules this weekend for the next certification course. So it's, we're all up and running. That's what I'm saying. Everything is transitioning online. Everyone is learning to transition online. So rain or shine, quarantine or not, we are doing the work. <laughs> that is fantastic. That, I mean, I'm, I'm really happy to hear that because, um, you know, it, it, it doesn't mean that, that your hands are tied as far as, as a practitioner. It's like you have all of the tools at your, your disposal. It makes me very excited. <laughs> yeah. Th thank you for, for sharing today, Candice Raboyo. And um, <laughs> uh, much, much love and, and gratitude towards you. You're a, a, an amazing healer and a practitioner there and, and, uh, you know, you've, you've let your authentic being just, just blossom in the last uh, few years that I've known you. And I, I, I really appreciate you. So thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for helping me foster it, for seeing it in me too. And always um, being willing to call me out of my um, hermitude. <laughs> hermitude. Is that a word? <laughs> it's the word today. <laughs> <laughs> the word of today, hermitude. Get out of it. Don't be a hermitude. It's not quarantine, it's hermitude. <laughs> <laughs> All right. W this will be continued. Yay, Peace. Thank you. All right. Be well. <laughs>